have gained weight. But let's blow up, finish ordering furniture. This is the morning routine. Read while I drink my coffee instead of going on YouTube or TikTok or whatever. All right, again, writing out my to-do list for the day with timestamps that I'm aiming for. This worked for the most part yesterday, but things did get a little bit behind, but it mostly worked. I feel like this is a good strategy though, because it really makes you realize like, oh, you only have this many hours in a day to work on this stuff. Realistically, how much can you aim to get done rather than putting like a ton of stuff on your to-do list and then only getting like three of them done. So I guess it helps prioritize. Like I always forget it takes, you know, an hour to get ready and then I don't know after 5 p.m. I'll probably edit more. We'll see. All right, first thing we're doing this morning, going to the gym, as you can tell. Trying to do that just every day for at least 30 minutes to get in the habit, and then I'll probably extend it to like 45 minutes. Just finished working out. I told myself I'd go for 30 minutes. I always set a timer when I'm there for how long to stay there. And I ended up staying for 40 minutes. So we love that. Having a gym in my building is really helpful, I think, for staying, sticking with a workout routine. I've been reading Atomic Habits while I drink coffee. As I wake up, rereading it. So I remember it like the first time I read it, it just really, really helped me. And it basically says like, if you want to create a habit, make it as easy as possible. And there's really nothing easier. Well, I guess the only easier thing would be to work out in your apartment. Having a gym in the apartment is amazing. So yeah, because let's have a chat. Okay, I basically have been feeling like I gained weight. Like I feel like I probably gained five or eight, maybe 10 pounds. I don't know. I don't own a scale. I don't really weigh myself, but while I was being a nomad traveling i really i didn't have much of the same routine i would try to work out here and there but overall it was definitely less than i normally do when i just have a routine somewhere so i feel like that kind of caught up with me and i just feel like this extra layer on me you know that feeling um it just is really uncomfortable like when i sit down i just hate this feeling. I, I just don't feel good. I mean, most of it is really what you eat, right? Like, I probably wasn't eating the healthiest and mostly going to restaurants. And the portions they give you sometimes are just so big and I eat really fast, so I end up eating like way more food than I need to because I just, I need to slow down when I eat, basically. Then, yeah when I cook at home. So I'm trying to glow up my life, glow up this apartment. Do people still use that word? I don't even know. But let's glow up together. I'm trying to get back into good shape, eating healthy, working out, and also just want to revamp my wardrobe. I don't like, as I was saying the other day, the clothes I've been wearing in my videos, particularly the one where I was apartment hunting in New York. I was just like, what? was that outfit. It didn't look good on me. And when you feel like you look good, you do feel good. I feel like it's weirdly important with videos. Like when I feel like I look good in the video, I'm more excited to edit it than if I feel like I just was sloppily got ready, didn't really think too much about the outfit. Then I'm just like, oh, this, this isn't my best work. <laughs> Anyway, those are my thoughts for the day on that. I'm trying to be consistent. I might even make a little like check mark of each day I work out because I'm aiming for five days a week, 30 minutes at least at the gym. That is totally doable. 30 minutes is not that long, but yeah, eventually I'll probably do like 45 minutes. I think it's better to create the habit even if it's only going for five minutes a day. That's better than going once for four hours. It's really just a dreary day. It's raining out. Ugh. What the heck? It's May. Can you believe it's May? I can't. Anyway, going to shower, get ready. Okay, I'm ready for the day. I decided to fully get ready and wear like a cool outfit and everything. I will be editing most of the morning, but now I'll be ready to go later when I shoot. Hopefully it stops raining. Very, very rainy day today. 
First though, I'm gonna do a thumbnail photo in this apartment. Currently just uploading all the vlog footage for Jen to edit. The new internet here, it's so fast, it's crazy. Which means it will be way more easy for me to be consistent with uploading vlogs. I'd like to upload them three times a week. I feel like would be solid. So aiming for that and to be more like closer to the actual dates of them because a lot of them are like two weeks late. So we can cross off here, workout done. Actually, I'll do check marks so I can look back on this. So we're getting to this a little bit late because I forgot I had to do some like vlog stuff. I have everything charging. Obviously, I don't, I don't have a desk here or like a desk chair. So I'm going to go to the penthouse like club house, whatever you call that workspace thing again. I really do like that area. Once I have a desk though, I'm probably going to work out of here most of the time until I get to that point in the day where I just like need to get out of the house, you know? I know some people don't get like that and they love working from home all the time, but I just get like very antsy to leave the house at least at some point throughout the day. So let's go. All right, first thing I'm doing here is stabilizing all of the Sony clips that I shot yesterday in Camera Catalyst, trying to make a thumbnail. All right, I have a good rough cut done of the Nissan Leaf video. I have a few more shots I've written down that I want to get. Tomorrow, though, it's supposed to be not raining, so I think I'm just going to wait till tomorrow morning for that. I do need to get a couple of shots for this Bill Gates interview video though, because I want to mix it up with a little bit of other footage, not just interview. So I ordered the book that he's promoting. They actually gave me one, but I accidentally left it in my car. So it's in California right now. So I ordered one so I can get some B-roll shots of the book I think would look pretty cool. So let's go get it and grab the tripod. I'm very confused. I went to the car for my tripod and it's not in there, but it's not in here. I'm like, did I like leave it at that park somehow? That would be so weird. I'm sure it will turn up somewhere. Here's the book. I just figured it would be good to get B-roll shots of it and maybe like go to some pages in it that say something interesting. <sighs> I think this will be a nice spot to get a shot of the book. Using the Black Magic camera for these shots. I just love this camera. Ooh, I'll stand it up. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, lighting is definitely better this way. All right, makeshift tripod because I think I left mine at that park yesterday. This is the weirdest thing. This isn't the tripod I'm talking about, by the way. This is like an iPhone tripod. I don't know how I would leave a tripod. Like it's so big. How would you just forget it? But I, I actually think I did because I went and looked at my car twice and I didn't see it. And like, am I losing my mind? Because how, how do you forget a tripod? I don't know. I feel like my memory is not the best. I'm always forgetting what I'm doing. So uh, that like weirdly worries me. It's probably fine though. Anyway, I have to shoot a couple talking clips. Just have me talking really quick. So I'm just gonna do an outro now. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I Okay, got that shot done. Now I need to get a shot in Target basically where I'm like walking and then I take off my mask. You guys will see in this video. But yeah, we'll go over to Target and see if it's raining. See if I can shoot more of this Nissan Leaf thing. Making the same breakfast for lunch as I had yesterday. And I got this little suction cup thing so I can go get shots of me driving the Nissan Leaf with the GoPro. It's actually not raining too hard now, so I think I will just go do that after I eat. Might as well knock it out, right? Get it done. All right, here is how it turned out. I really feel like this is pretty healthy. Put it on my dining table that would be here. <laughs> no, this will just eat right here. Really haven't like taken the time to actually finish ordering furniture because I'm trying to finish these videos. Mm. Okay, I did not realize you actually need to have a piece for this to work that I don't have. So we're gonna try taping it to the car and I'm just gonna put this stuff back. I don't know, I might return it. The shot we're gonna get is just charging the Nissan Leaf at a charging station. See how it goes, it should be able to charge fast. Okay, I taped the GoPro down. Hopefully this should work. It might move around a little bit, but it shouldn't go like flying. So let's head over to the charging station. All right, we're getting this shot. Okay, the car is charging and I'm getting shots. 
of it. The more I drive this car, the more I'm like, I wouldn't really recommend it unless you just really, really want an electric vehicle. But I would say just like save up for a Tesla. I don't know. It's just like, it's just okay. It's not bad. I feel like it's not really worth it though. But anyway, back to getting some shots. It's actually nice that it's cloudy out today because the lighting is like good in here. Yesterday I shot the same part and it was just like really harsh lighting. I didn't like it, so I'm just redoing it. All right, we've got the footage needed and two birds, one stone got the, char the car charged. So let's head back. I wanna actually get that rug out and get stuff a little more set up, maybe order some more furniture. So let's go do it. Check it out, you guys, the Space Needle. Well, it's like blurry, but yeah. Okay, I am back and I want to unbox this other nightstand now. So it's over here, here we go. I measured it to make sure, but not gonna lie, I was getting nervous. Yay, that's so nice. I love the nightstands. Again, all from article, the bed and the nightstands. And yeah, I need to get lamps and like something on this. Okay, just back to editing right now. I'm trying to get the video where I interviewed Bill Gates up day after tomorrow, and I feel like it's really not done. But I'm also like feeling like my brain's a bit fried, but like I, I got some time still left in me. I'm gonna watch through this Skillshare course a little more and also edit a little more. Drink my decaf coffee a little more. Have I mentioned that I love this kitchen? Egg fat salad. Still need to get like a cutting board. I've been using a plate, which isn't the best, but it works. It still works. All right, I've got this part all done and I am still cooking this chicken. I should have cut it before. Whoops, kind of foggy today, it's weird. Hey, didn't see the very getting. I feel like I just looked up almost surprised, but yeah. This chicken is cooking for, is cooking, it's taking forever to cook. Still waiting on it. I feel like I should edit more tonight, but I just really don't want to. Like I really just want to relax. I might do that. Just edit all day tomorrow, I'll be scrambling on that one, it's fine. I worked a little bit out of the like clubhouse type room here and actually met someone in the building. Him and his wife have lived here and would be down to like go get drinks sometime. And you guys remember in my vlog the other day when I was like, oh, I really wanna make friends in the building. I think that would be so convenient. Maybe we're making that happen. Yeah, I really just think that would be like awesome. Monica actually already knows a couple people in this building. So it would just make it feel more fun and more like home, you know, to know some people here. So otherwise, I don't really know anyone that lives in downtown Seattle, but rather in West Seattle and in like the areas a little outside. So I'd love to meet more people that live like downtown, like in walking distance. I'm measuring for what size dining table to fit here. I think the couch could go a little more. All right, here's my dinner. Sweet green, guacamole greens, recreation. We don't have sweet green in Seattle, so I'm slowly gonna have to just recreate all their salads because their salads are so good. Oh, cow, so I'm FaceTiming Monica. All right, finished eating, cleaned everything up, trying to stay in that habit. I'm actually gonna go head over and hang with Monica and Maddie. If you guys don't know Maddie, it's Monica's roommate. They're gonna watch the new Kardashians episode. They live like not far at all, so I'm like, you know what? Why the heck not? That's like the main benefit of living in Seattle is living near my family and friends that I've known for a really long time. So let's go. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, my. Ow, ow, cow. You sharpened his nails. I think we should get more dogs. Yeah, more dogs, more dogs. Oh, that was cute. All right, I am back and it is now what, 10, 10.36? I wanna sleep ASAP because I'm really trying to wake up. I think that I've discovered, I really think 7 a.m. is the perfect wake up time. I think 6 a.m. is too early and you start like getting really tired in the afternoon and like, 
you don't have to wake up at 6 a.m., why would you? Then you're waking up early on the weekends, and if you ever stay up late, you just feel like messed up. So 7 a.m. is like the perfect balance where you're still up early enough. I naturally, though, end up just waking up at 6 a lot of the time, but 7 is like perfect, I think. Anyway, I'm off to sleep. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Empty apartment. Still empty. <laughs> But at least we got the nightstand. That's looking good. I need to unbox the rug still. Tomorrow, it's just like kind of heavy to move, but I will do it. <laughs>